Proxima b is an Earth-sized exoplanet that orbits Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our solar system. It's only 4.24 light-years away, yet what we're learning about it is beyond anything expected. This planet keeps surprising scientists. Its unusual conditions are nothing short of a mystery. At the center of all this is its tidal locking. One side always faces the star and is burned by constant sunlight. The other side stays in permanent darkness and is freezing cold. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, looked into this dark side and found something strange, infrared emissions that repeat in precise patterns. These signals show up in geometric shapes, much like city grids on Earth. They are too structured to ignore. Even more bizarre, these signals give off terahertz radiation, a rare frequency in nature but common in high-end communication tech. JWSD has mapped 12 zones on the dark side. Each one pulses every 27.3 hours, matching the planet's orbital period. This perfect timing hints at intelligent control. Could it be natural formations, or is something else going on? Some scientists believe it could be from exotic crystals under the surface. These could produce electricity when heated or cooled. Proxima B may have a molten iron core, just like Earth. It's heated by the star's pull, which may create geothermal energy. If that energy reaches the surface, it could power hydrothermal vents under the ice, just like the ones deep in Earth's oceans. JWSD also found ammonia and hydrogen sulfide near the glowing zones. These gases often appear near microbial life on Earth. The problem is the scale of these emissions. They release as much energy as 10,000 nuclear power plants. That's more than volcanoes or vents could ever manage naturally. So some believe it's artificial energy production. Proxima B's atmosphere is thin, only 0.1% as dense as Earth's, so holding heat is tough. Yet JWSD detected titanium dioxide nanoparticles in the icy surface used on Earth to reflect radiation. If used in reverse, they might trap heat and build underground warm zones, perfect for life to hide. Such materials could be part of insulated domes or even subsurface cities, protected from deadly cold and heat. These domes could use superconductors to move power around efficiently, even across long distances. Where night meets day, the Terminator line, JWSD spotted glacial movement, possibly due to liquid water beneath ice. This water could be heated by radioactive elements, like uranium-238, acting as a secret energy source. On Earth, similar water flows create blood falls in Antarctica, red streams formed by iron-eating bacteria. If Proxima B has life, it might not use eyes. It could depend on sound, magnetism, or even electric fields to sense the world. Its star, Proxima Centauri, throws off X-rays and UV radiation regularly. This makes life on the surface almost impossible. Any advanced life would need hardened bunkers or live inside lava tubes, far below the danger. They might power their systems with fusion reactors, using deuterium from comics as fuel. The light patterns seen by JWSD look like fiber optic systems, may be used for data transfer or even quantum communication. If true, this would change how we understand physics and technology forever. The Breakthrough Starshot project plans to send tiny laser-propelled probes to Proxima B. These grain-sized robots would travel for 20 years and capture detailed data when they arrive. With their nanosensors, they could analyze gases, light, heat, and take photos with centimeter detail. If they find bigger structures or even simple buildings, it would answer many questions instantly. Still, there are challenges. Space is filled with cosmic dust and rays, which can damage sensors over time. 
So, these probes need to be made from self-healing materials to survive the long journey. Finding life would also change Earth's laws and ethics. The United Nations already has protocols ready. They call for no interference and full data transparency to avoid mistakes that could lead to conflict. Religions might question how alien life fits into creation. Some people might celebrate, others could panic. Proxima B has methane plumes that appear seasonally. On Earth, methane usually means farming or fossil fuels. But this methane has no biological isotopes. So where does it come from?